My favorite teacher is Mrs. Clements. She was my second grade teacher. And the reason she was my favorite teacher was because she's the one that discovered I needed glasses. I was the quiet, shy introvert. I didn't like to um, speak out at school. I didn't really like to participate in school because I didn't feel like I knew what was happening. And it was all because I couldn't see and I didn't know that I couldn't see. I thought everybody saw the way I saw. But she discovered one day that I could not see. She contacted my mom and my mom got uh, an appointment and I got glasses. And from that point, I could see the world differently. I was a little bit behind and reading was a struggle for me. And so uh, my mom was a paraprofessional at the school that I uh, went to. And so Mrs. Clements had my mom drop me off early and she would tutor me to catch me up and then I would stay after school and she would tutor me to catch me up. And so I can read and see because of Mrs. Clements. So thanks Mrs. Clements. Love you to the moon and back. My favorite teacher is William McKenzie. He's my high school band director. You know, when I think about Mr. McKenzie, uh, I, I think about what I had to go through um, in high school. You know, our school was a safe haven for us. I uh, grew up in the inner city of Miami, uh, grew up in public housing, and it wasn't always a great place to live. Uh, the community of people, always beautiful people, but sometimes people did bad things. But when I went to band practice, uh, Mr. McKenzie had this unique belief in me, and he told me I could be more than what I saw every day. Uh, he told me that I needed to look beyond uh, the gates of Miami Jackson Senior High School uh, and that he thought that I was going to be something. He didn't know what, but he, he did uh, instill in me uh, a belief in myself. Mr. McKenzie, if you're out there, I know you're still uh, down in Miami and doing your thing. I um, know you've been retired for a long time, but know that your legacy lives uh, not only in me, but the hundreds and thousands of kids that you taught at Miami Jackson Senior High School. Uh, you helped us all. You helped us all to be better people, uh, to be good stewards of society, to learn to take care of our families. And so thank you very much. And thanks to all the teachers out there uh, for what you do. You don't uh, get enough recognition. My favorite teacher was Mr. Powell, my fifth grade teacher. Mr. Powell was the first male teacher that I had. And that was really important to me because I grew up in a single parent home. Um, I, I never met my father. And Mr. Powell um, gave me confidence in myself, a confidence that I did not have before I got into his fifth grade classroom. And it was actually in Mr. Powell's class that I decided that I wanted to go into education because I wanted to be able to make children feel the way that he made me feel. Mr. Powell actually is still in education. Uh, he's a librarian up in Michigan. And a few years ago, we realized that we each go to the NEA's representative assembly. And so for each of the past three years, we've gone out and, and had dinner one of the nights of the RA. I would not be where I am um, in, in, in any respect. I probably wouldn't have even gone to college. Um, but, but Mr. Powell made me who I am today. I am so thankful to him and to all of the Mr. Powells and Mrs. Powells um, out there in the world. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to the members for everything you do, for every student, every school, every day.